Hi, kindergarten. Today I wanted to read to you one of our Skill Buddy phonics stories called Fun for Bud. The author of our story is Judy Winehouse, which means she wrote the story, and the illustrator is Gabriel Peterson, which means he drew the pictures. Before we take a little picture walk, I wanted to bring your attention to the blue and the purple uh, shapes over here, the blue circle and the purple square to review our short U sound and also some high frequency words that you know. Remember our skill this week that the short sound of U says uh, uh, umbrella. I bet you can read these words with me because you because you know a lot of these beginning, middle, and end sounds. I'm going to break them up slow and then we're going to try to read them together. B, uh, d, bud, r, uh, f, rough. S on sun, f on fun, p up uh, pup, r on run, d ug uh, dug, t ub uh, tub, up uh, up, j um p jump, m ud uh, mud, h ug uh, hug. You can also, parents, start to ask them some things such as, can you name for me one of these words that is a verb or an action? Something that shows that someone can do something or act, act out something? I can see a word here. This word is jump. Jump. That's a verb or an action. You can also hug. That's an action. Can you name for me two words that rhyme in this list and parents you can also point out look at this word run run somewhere on this list boys and girls there are actually two rhyming words so i'll say run and you try to pick which two words rhyme with run bud rough sun and fun were you able to hear the rhyme run sun run fun these three words are rhyming words, run, sun, and fun. All right, and now we're going to go over the high-frequency words, which are also known as our sight words. Is, said, see, was, a, what, and the. You can also, parents, try to have them give the sight word in a simple sentence to you before you start to read the story together. As always, I'm going to take a little picture walk to see what we can observe from the pictures. So if we look on the front cover of our story, Fun for Bud, I can see a pet down here. Do you guys know what kind of a pet he is? He's a dog, and it looks like there's a boy and a girl laying and enjoying the nice day. The little girl here might be pointing to a cloud. And what's the dog doing? You're right, he's jumping under the sprinkler. We usually do that, boys and girls, on a warmer spring day or summer day. I love to do that with my kids, take the sprinkler out. If we look at this picture, we notice that the dog is looking at the door. What do you think he might want to do? If you have a dog, I bet you know, I know what my dog wants to do when he looks at the door and sits. He wants to go out. If we look at this picture, we could see the boy and the girl and the dog, and it looks like the boy and girl are getting ready to go somewhere. What kind of transportation are they using to go somewhere? I bet you can guess those big black wheels and that yellow bus. Where might they be going? Did you guess? Look at their backs. They have school bags and they're going on a bus. Where do you go with backpacks? And sometimes you can take a bus to this place. It's a school. If we look on this page, we notice that the boy and girl are walking home and there's their dog. Do they look happy? They do, and so does their dog. Oh, I have a question since we're talking about shapes. What shape is the brown door? Two short sides, two longer sides. Do you remember? It's a rectangle. What shape are the windows? The windows have all equal sides. They are squares. Very good. All right. Uh, looks like the same picture on the front cover again. The dog's under the sprinkler. The boy and the girl are enjoying their nice afternoon. Uh-oh. Let's look over here. 
What is their dog doing? Do you notice what's flying up in the air here? It's the dirt. He looks like he might be digging a hole. Maybe he's trying to find a bone or bury a bone. Oh my goodness. The boy and girl here are now getting ready to what? Get their dog all clean. The opposite of dirty is clean. Where do you go to take a bath, boys and girls? You got it, the tub, but their tub is where? Is it inside or outside? Right again, it's outside, do you notice? The rocks and the grass, does it look like they're having a fun time together? I think so too. The boy is smiling, the girl is smiling, and it looks like their dog is happy. Let's look at the last picture together. Oh, he's hugging his puppy, he's all clean. And now they're having some snuggle time together. All right, let's try to go to the beginning and read the story together. Remember, the letter U says, ah. Uh. I already went ahead and highlighted the letter U on the first few pages. What I want you to do, boys and girls, is you can grab crayons or markers, and you can go ahead and hunt for your letter U. And remember, as you read it, the short sound of U is ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I bet you could read the title with me. Fun for Bud. We're also going to look at this word. This is the word said. Said. And I use my purple. Can you find me the word said on this page? There it is. I underlined it in purple. Said. On this page, I found the word W H A T. Do you know what word that is? What? What? This sight word. You got it, is C. And do you notice what's at the end of this sentence? Is it a period or question mark? It is a question mark. So you know that it's an asking sentence. They wanna find something out. Parents, what you could do throughout the story is just pick a few high frequency words to have your child color code and underline them. So for instance, you might say, find me all the is high frequency words in purple. Find me all the words that look like the in yellow, and so on. We're gonna try to read this story together. And as I read, remember, we're gonna try to track our print from left to right. And we're also gonna look at the pictures to sound out words that we don't know. And we're gonna try to look at our sight words and remember them as we read. All right, fun for Bud. Bud is a pup. That means a young dog. Bud sat up. Bud said, ruff, ruff. These are quotation marks because the dog is barking. That's what ruff means. I think you know he wants to go outside. What did Bud see? Run, Bud, run. Who does he see, boys and girls? He sees the little boy and the little girl outside. Remember, they look like they're going to school. Bud can run fast. Bud can jump up. There's two verbs in this sentence. Do you know where the verb is or the action word? Run, very good, that's the action. Where's the verb in this sentence or the action? Good, jump. He can jump and he can run. And who are they talking about? They're talking about Bud, that's the dog. Bud sat in the sun. It was hot. Bud got wet. Oh my goodness, he likes to get wet like my dog. But how did Bud get wet? Under the sprinkler, very good. Bud dug in mud. Bud had fun. Get Bud in the tub. Get Bud wet. Why did they have to get Bud in the tub and get him wet? Because he was very dirty, remember? He played in the mud and then they said, oh my goodness, he's so dirty. Now we have to get him clean. How did he get clean? With his scrub brush and soap and bubbles. They're putting him in water. Does your pet like to get wet? Lucky does, he likes to. Bud can get a big hug. Bud can get in bed. 
Very good today, boys and girls, reading. What I'm going to do, parents, is go ahead and um, take photos of these pictures for you to download. Unfortunately, I am running out of ink and paper, but I will go ahead and snapshot these pic pictures. And what I want you to do is try to hunt for these basic sight words, try to review the U sound with them, and let them sound out these words as they read. Take your picture walk. Have them read it you, uh, to you a couple times just to get familiar with the words. And then you can always ask questions such as, who are the characters? Where was the setting? How did this story end? How, how did it start out? And so on. So go ahead and read this together and have fun. See you soon.